आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ हेलो फ्रेंड्स हेयर वी आर गिवन विद्वेशन प्रूव दैट द रूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन ए टू दावर फोर प्लस बी टू दावर फोर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर ए बी सी डी एक्स प्लस सी टू दावर फोर डी टू दावर फोर इक्वल टू जीरो कैन नॉट बी डिफरेंट इफ रियल फाइन सो वॉट हेयर वी आर गिवेन इज वी आर गिवेन हेयर इज अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन एज यू कैन क्लियरली सी सो दिस ए टू दावर फोर प्लस बी टू दावर फोर इज द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर फोर ए बी सी डी इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स एंड सी टू दावर फोर प्लस डी टू दावर फोर इज कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म हेयर फाइन सो वी आर हेयर गिवेन दैट वी हैव टू प्रूव हेयर दैट इफ दिस एक्स दिस क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इज हैविंग रियल रूट्स दैन इट कैन द रूट्स कैन नॉट बी डिफरेंट दैट मीन्स द रूट शुड बी इक्वल दैट मीन्स वॉट द वॉट इज द कंडीशन फॉर रूट्स बींग इक्वल द डिस्क्रीमेंट शुड बी जीरो एंड वॉट इज द कंडीशन फॉर रूट्स बींग रियल द कंडीशन इज डी शुड बी ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल्स टू जीरो दैट मीन्स डिस्क्रीमेंट शुड बी ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल्स टू जीरो फॉर रूट्स बींग रियल इफ डिस्क्रीमेंट इज लेस दैन जीरो दैन द रूट्स आर नॉन रियल और इमेजिनरी फाइन सो वॉट वी विल डू हेयर इज वी विल ट्राई टू राइट द डिस्क्रीमेंट हेयर देन वी विल सी इफ द डिस्क्रीमेंट कैन बी फैक्ट्राइज एंड देन वी विल ट्राई टू uh put the condition and then we will see what happens next okay so let's uh, write first so we know that if the x this quadratic equation can be written as in the form of a ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 okay this is the general uh, expression for quadratic equation and in this quadratic equation we know that the discriminant is given by b square minus 4ac okay in this quadratic equation the discriminant is given by b square minus 4ac and now here we can equate this a with this term constant term c here this a and this a are different okay this b and c are different here okay so uh, you can also okay so now uh, here for this x this quadratic equation we can write discriminant as b square so what is the p here b here is nothing but the coefficient of x so here the coefficient of x is this 4 abcd so we can write here 4 abcd whole square b square right now minus 4 into a and c a is what the coefficient of x square which is this a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 so we can write a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 into c c is this constant term c to the power 4 plus d to the power 4 fine this is our discriminant so we can here further write it as uh, we can A square it and then we can write sixteen a square b square c square d square and then we can write minus four and then we can expand it and we can write a to the power four c to the power four plus a to the power four d to the power four plus b to the power four c to the power four plus b to the power four d to the power four fine and then we can take minus four common here so we will get minus four. Minus four c. Since we have taken minus four common, so this will be equal to this minus four a square b square c square d square. And minus four is common, so we will get plus a to the power four c to the power four. Now we can club this a to the power four c to the power four and b to the power four d to the power four together. Why? Because we want to make it a perfect square. Plus b to the power four c to the power four. Okay. So this is our this is our expression. Fine. Uh, so here you can see that uh, uh, here we can make it a perfect square. Let's try to make it a perfect square. How we will, how we will do that? Let's see here. Minus four here, and now here we can write this as a to the power four c to the power four plus b to the power four d to the power four, and then we can split this term in two terms. Okay. So like minus two a square b square c square d square. So we can write minus two a square b square c square d square and then we can uh, put a parenthesis over here and then we can uh, see here we have uh, took this two term first and split it this term in two terms and this is the first term and then the second term will come here at the end and now we are going to take this term okay a to the power 4 d to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 c to the power 4 minus 2 a square b square c square d square Okay, now see here. Now this minus two square b square c square d square minus two square b square c square d square. This together constitute this term, and these are these terms. Okay, so this is equal to this. Okay, so now we can further write it as minus four. Uh, 
Okay, now you can clearly see this has become an identity now. Which identity we can see here? We can write it as it as a square c square ka whole square b square d square ka whole square minus two a b c d. Okay, a square b square c square d square. Okay, so this is identity of a minus b whole square. Okay, this is of the form a square plus b square minus two a b. So we can write it as a square c square minus b square d square whole square plus and here we can say here a square d square minus b square c square square d square minus b square c square whole square okay so if you will expand this term it you will get this you can clearly see here a square c square square is a to the power 4 c to the power 4 b square d square square is a to the power 4 d to the power 4 and then minus 2 a b okay so minus 2 into a square c square b square d square okay? so you will get this term and similarly for this okay so now uh, this is our discriminant fine so we can write here it this is our first expression okay uh, okay now uh, now let's uh, try to see for the our question which is say, says that the roots should be real means if the roots are real then the uh, roots cannot be different that means then the roots should be equal fine so what is the condition for uh, real roots we as i told it should be d should be greater than or equals to zero okay so here d is this okay so we can write it as minus 4 a square c square minus b square d square whole square plus a square d square minus b square c square whole square should be greater than or equals to 0 okay so this is the condition for the roots being real okay so here uh, what we can do here is we can multiply by simply minus 1 both the sides so what we will get we will get 4 this side and this should, will remain 0 and this inequality will reverse okay uh, that is uh, we have already know okay so here we can multiply simply by minus 1 and then we can divide this 4 here by 0 so we will get this side 0 okay so we will get here a square c square minus b square d square whole square plus a square d square minus b square c square whole square less than or uh, less than or equals to 0 okay this we will get fine so how do we get this we, we simply multiply it by minus one minus one on both the sides the inequality changed and then the four was left and we divided four here on the denominator then this will become zero this becomes zero okay since dividing anything by zero will remain zero right so this is the expression so now as we know that what we know here uh, we know that uh, the sum of uh, two squares can never be can never be negative okay we know that sum of two square terms can never be negative okay this we know how do we because the sum of square can never be negative okay so that means it should be either equals to zero or greater than zero but here it is less than or equal to zero that means this uh, that means this expression should be zero okay so we can write here a square c square minus b square d square whole square plus a square d square minus b square c square whole square equals to zero why because the sum of two positive uh, square terms can never be negative okay so that means they should be zero right so here since now we can say that here since now this can be uh, written as expression two this was our expression one and this is our expression two okay so so from one and two we can say that we can say here here discriminant is zero okay and so since discriminant is zero that means the roots can be can uh, what was the question here uh, it was that cannot be different if real that okay so here cannot roots cannot be different that means the roots are equal cannot be different if real okay so hence proved okay
थैंक यू क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ से लेके नीट आई आई टी जेई मेन्स और एडवांस के लेवल तक दस मिलियन से ज्यादा स्टूडेंट्स का भरोसा आज ही डाउनलोड करें डाउट नेट आप या व्हाट्सएप कीजिए अपने डाउट्स आठ चार सौ चार सौ चार सौ पर